this is Joe Malone, and joining me to talk about Cannonball Day and the barbecue chicken dinner, we've got Dennis Wilson. Dennis, how you doing? Fine. It's great to be here this morning. Now, uh, tell me, uh, Cannonball Day is back, just like a lot of things, is back for 2021. That's right. We had to cancel last uh, year, but you know, uh, we're here this year, and uh, it's going to be a great event, and uh, we're having a band this year, which we haven't had for a couple of years, Betsy and the Gents at 6 o'clock. So uh, we're trying to bring back Cannonball Day with uh, all the fun things we had before. Yeah, and it's going to be on June 26th, kind of throughout the uh, entirety of the day at East Park. That's right. It starts out at 930 with the kids' fun run. Okay. That's and a big part of the uh, Cannonball Day, you know, and we even have a toddler's, uh, toddler's run. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, bring your toddler. <laughs> uh, is it going to be like marked lanes, or how do we keep them on the right path? Well, the YMC is handling that. So. <laughs> okay, that's on them. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, you know, the run uh, traditionally has uh, had uh, for ages up to 13. There's uh, three or four different races. You can choose a race, actually, you can uh, want to run in. And then that's those big medals that Hy-V furnishes. There, uh, I've had people tell me we go to races, uh, different places. We've never seen medals that big, but the kids just love them. And a lot of them have collected them since the time we started running. So there's uh, water bottle medals. There's uh, coupons in your packet for pizza and other things. So it's a great experience. Then it's followed by the kids' tractor pull, championship mm -hmm. tractor pull. Yeah, everybody gets a trophy up in front of the, the big steam engine. So. That's uh, something to go to right after you get done running. Now, now um, then we get into the chicken. That's yeah, right. Then it's chicken time. <laughs> Cannibal chicken barbecue. Uh, i tell you, if you haven't had somebody approach you about a ticket, why, just uh, <laughs> get in touch with me. Mm -hmm. But we'll be selling tickets this weekend at East uh, and West High V. And uh, if you have, like I say, if you haven't got your ticket, why, um, get on there and you can pick one up. The uh, Cannonball Chicken Barbecue started about, oh, probably um, um, in 206, something like that. Uh, first time we did it, in partnership with hy V. why we sold about 700 halves. Uh, in 2019, the last one we had was over 4,000. Uh, we recognized a few years ago that, uh, you know, our club is, uh, Lions Club is small. It um, is getting older. And um, we started looking around to see if we couldn't find a partner to go in with us. And we found the perfect partner, uh, River City and Morning Qantas Club. And so they've added a lot of creativity and youth and energy to this. And uh, they uh, basically do what we do as a Lions Club. Uh, we serve the youth in this uh, community through various uh, ways, and like uh, diabetes and eye testing and the Qantas buildup. Uh, the Qantas Park up on uh, North Carolina and other things they do. So it's a great partnership and you can be assured every ticket you buy, the money that goes back into the community to help support the community, especially the youth. Now, Cannonball Day, a barbecue chicken dinner coming up on June 26th at East Park. Again, the fun run for the kids at 9, tractor pull at 11. Coming up, Dennis, I want to talk about the afternoon because uh, things really get rolling in the afternoon with uh, Cannonball Day and the barbecue chicken dinner on Saturday, June 26th. It's uh, Joe Malone along with Dennis Wilson. <laughs>
which has been a traditional uh, part of the Cannibal Day. We started that back even before we uh, started with the chicken barbecue. Um, and uh, that'll be on. Uh, we encourage you, if you have uh, young people who have a particular talent, to get in touch with uh, Reagan Banks and uh, pick up an entry blank down at the, uh, his uh, youth center there. Uh, the entry blanks are also available at uh, Ryben's Music uh, store, and um, you know uh, you have a chance to win. There's uh, about five hundred dollars in prizes. Oh, very cool! Given here and fun as a spectator to watch all the different talents that the kids have, whether it's That's singing right, or yeah. dancing or whatever. And now, speaking of talent, five o'clock uh, that evening, it's Betty and the Gents. It's six o'clock. Uh, six, six o'clock. Six o'clock. Okay. Betsy and the Jets will be playing a popular band in the community and around here. Oh. So what we've done, the Friends of the 457 uh, originated Cannibal Day and the, for the purpose of raising funds to restore and preserve the old steam engine in East Park. And they not only wanted to raise funds for that, but they wanted to provide a day that encourages healthy living and lifestyles for kids. So the kids fun run. We got inflatables. We got spin art. That's a popular thing now. Mm -hmm. And then we added on <coughs> the uh, chicken barbecue a couple of years later to to bring more interest in and provide uh, some more uh, you know entertaining and tasteful tasty mm -hmm. <laughs> things for the public to enjoy. Now we, we encourage everybody to come down and be a part of. Cannonball Day, the barbecue chicken dinner, Saturday, East Park. Um, serving of the uh, food goes from 11 until 6. Uh, the activities and the entertainment go on throughout the morning, afternoon, and uh, into the early evening with the uh, the live music with Betty and the Gents. Uh, Dennis Wilson, thanks so much for coming on by. Thanks so much for having me.